It's now the evening of the 27th of uh, April. Uh, we've just completed the first day of the conference and you can see that I'm a much more relieved uh, and relaxed person than I was uh, in my video log this morning uh, before the opening ceremony started. Um, I have two major worries in these conferences. The first one is getting everybody who goes on the field visits uh, outside the capital uh, to come back safe and sound. And we had 150 or so people in nine different groups go and spend two nights in the field. They all came back quite safely yesterday. The second big worry is the opening ceremony where we invite uh, dignitaries and important people from the host government. It's always very tricky dealing with VVIPs. Uh, they don't always come on time. They don't always end up, uh, come up, turn up as they promised. But we were very pleased that they did indeed turn up and uh, they uh, uh, came on time. So we had a very good opening ceremony with lots of uh, uh, important speakers from the country of Kenya and the continent of Africa. We also had the vice chair of the IPCC, Jean Pascal Purcell, and we had some members of the community, the Maasai community, speak about their cultural values uh, and how to preserve them. So we had, a, and then we had a series of plenary sessions and uh, uh, parallel sessions, uh, an out of the box session as well, uh, and a learning session, learning from failures session is something we've been trying to do for some time unsuccessfully, but we actually. This time we didn't fail and we actually succeeded in doing a, a session on learning from failures. So we're very pleased with the rest of uh, how today went. We still have a dinner to go to at a cultural show put on by a Kenyan government host. And then we have three more days of uh, deliberations here and I'll be giving a daily update in my video logs uh, every day as we go along.